Keith, and I am the author of Thirsty, a novel that will be published by Swallow Press on October 1st. Thirsty is the story of Clara Bozen, who emigrates to the United States with her husband, which is very young, and she realizes very quickly that she's in an abusive marriage. And it's 1883, and women have very few options. She's constrained by gender, by economics, by religion, by class, and Thirsty is really the story of Clara finding out if she has the courage to change her path in life, which is a question that we all come up against at one point or another in our lives, in small ways or in big ways. I'm an American writer, and even though Thirsty is being published back home in the U.S., I've been living in Shanghai, China since 2006. Shanghai is very much like Pittsburgh was when I was a kid, when I was growing up. Um, it's an industrial country still, even though Shanghai and Beijing are becoming very modern uh, cities. There's still this echo back to, to old China. When you read Thirsty, you'll see that a lot of Talkers come by Clara and Drago's house, the button man comes and he pulls his car and he sells you buttons and the knife sharpener comes and you know these things that were going on in 1883. But they're actually going on in Shanghai today. You walk down Anfu, which is my street here, and you see the recycling man who's pulling his cart or, or riding his bicycle cart. I really enjoy the the fact that when I moved to China I was plunked down into a culture about which I knew very little. I can't speak the language, I can speak much better than I could when I got here. Um, and that's inspiring to me, I mean, I just, I love exploring what I know so little of. And China's the perfect place to do that. Um.